everyone, this is Rigel2 here and bring you episode 6 of my Pokemon Ultra Moon Let's Play. And with me, I have my friend here named... Um, Oliver. Yes. Give me a second to do the intro. More, 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 Mario Rio. Yes. And last time on Pokemon Ultra Moon, we went to Professor Kakui's lab, met Rotom, who wants to ask a question. Of course, yeah. I know you can yeah, do and that. Rotom seems to be quite the Tuesday guy, you know, because it's haha, Gen 6 jokes. You can only find him on Tuesday. <laughs> okay, Rotom, I already talked about this. Alright, so. I'm not playing anything. I'm talking in his Let's Play of Ultra Moon. Yes, Pokemon Ultra Moon. See if the game right. Good freaking grief. <laughs> okay, so last time we also finally reached the Pokemon Center. So this is going to be a quick look through the Pokemon Center itself. We have the PC here. It stands for um, Personal Computer, not Pokemon Center. Because of course it yeah, does. I was always wondering about what that stood for. Seriously? Uh, okay. Yeah. We have the Pokemart. You can buy stuff like Poke Balls. Yes. And I'm not going to buy 99 of these things. You can also buy potions. Yes, which you'll need for a very, very short time. Because citrus berries are broken. <laughs> and we also can buy Burn Heal because God have Burn Heal. Chug Conroy jokes. And we can also buy repels, but I'm not going to. Well, actually, no, I am, but not that many. Yeah. Because in case you're wondering, it, surprisingly, an island that's filled with grass has very few tall grass patches. Yeah, true. But hey, we're on only manly manly right now. Nope. You could also sell items there, but we don't have enough extra stuff. There's also and then the after Pokemon. That you'll get to see the end You'll get to see the entire world. Oh, excuse me. So, Wardor! Spoilers! Spoilers! <laughs> Welcome okay. to... Yep. There's also the Pokemon Cafe. Let's have some... Lemonade. Because I love lemonade. Get some good coffee. Yes, of course. $198 for lemonade. Well, Poke Dollars, but... Wait, isn't Poke Dollars, like, technically worth of yen? I do not I know. Oh, okay. Man, this episode is getting really funny really fast. Yes. Man, music. The little planet we live on resolves around the sun. The moon resolves around our planet. Have you ever stopped to think about what it is your life revolves around? My life day. revolves around... Video games! Uh, yes. Yes, video games and... Cells! <laughs> Cells and bacteria and life and life. And life rolls around carbon. And carbon life rolls rels? around physics. Did you just say life rolls? I said life re revolves around physics. Okay, I almost thought you said life rolls. <laughs> no, I'm laughing on, really, really Alright, let's leave the Pokemon Center and since it's daytime here, it's nighttime there! Yep, time to introduce you to a new feature, sort of. In Ultra Moon, it's night when it's day, and in Ultra Sun, it's day when it's day, so you can just guess the reverse, I'm not going to explain. Okay, we have the Pokemon we Trainer School. Boys. Seriously? Did you seriously draw unknown your name? Yes, I made my name an unknown. Spoilers! Okay, here we go. You see? The trainer school is... It's... It's a... What in the world? It's Tauros! Well, looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Tauros there. 
Still don't only think plan to go to the trainer's club. <laughs> leave that to you. Oh, me. Come on. Hope you guys are laughing who are watching this episode. Yes, I really hope so as well. Because in the in the nerds of the round table, Rigel and I, and I as a duo have proved to be quite the comedy crew. <laughs> Knock him dead like a dust skull with our puns. <laughs> yes, puns. Professor Kui, is this the child you told me about? Yes, because a child is the one chosen to save the world in literally every generation. Yes, because child, because children can do everything better than parents. Yeah, thanks, Lucimine, for clearing. Well, then again, Lucimine does kind of object to that very idea into this game. Oops, spoilers. You'll meet her later. She's basically like Cynthia, but a bit more cuckoo. Weird blonde, got weird blondie. Yeah, except she wears white. Yes. And she has weirdly green eyes. And in the previous game, she was infected by a neurotoxin. But let's not get into that. Jellyfish lady. So they sing some. You're a kid oh now. no. You're a squid now. You're a kid. You're a squid. We have the XP share, because it's OP in this game and you cannot take this game on without it. Trust me, I have tried, and other people have. Remember, only Pokemon users can see other Pokemon users. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> Lesson. Oh, and don't forget, you need the golden arrow. Okay, never mind. Doesn't exist. Teach her kids right. But this dude is even a captain. And there is a poison barb, which does kind of look like the poison arrow from JoJo. That, which does kind of look like the golden arrow from JoJo. Eilers, item spoilers. Never mind. Wait, this is... Say item spoilers? Item spoilers, yes, spoilers for future items. I am uh, nodding okay. my head right now in agreement with myself. Because that's totally what someone should be doing. <laughs> I can only see your sweet little frizz hair and your face now. <laughs> Rotom says, you have to meet four other trainers. Good luck. Bet you can I missed that. Sorry, Rotom. Alright. Oh, my parents. Let's I learn and fast. grow. Let's grow and train. Unsullied, enjoyable, enjoyable, and academic. Everyone starts at the beginning. Yes, unenjoyable. <laughs> right? Hey, look, it's a Pokeball. And it has a potion. I know, there's a trainer over there. But first, we need to do something. Ooh, Pokeball. Man, Pokeballs are the enemy of my enemy of my sentences. Alright, first we need to do something very special. Hi to kids, we'll talk to you later. The hide your kids, hide your what? <laughs> we need to look for something. Some, well, one, because they have genders. Please be this one. Nope. Hello, everyone. It's oh, hey, me out. It's me out, but that's not the dark type we're looking for. Which means there's two others you can guess if you know this game. Sorry, Meow. Meow! That's right! Seriously. It's sorry, faster! I think you mean yes, because Peck is the enemy of cats. Yeah. Also, Cat is getting taken out by a bird. Because well, that makes that sense. Ironic. The prey's turning on the food, the food's turning on the eater. The eater is still faster, though. Are you kidding me? Is that like 2 HP? Are you oh, hey, Jordy. I mean, right? It's okay. You don't know my full name because you can also spell, spell with J or G or whatever, so you still don't Remember know Remember that my one name. time I told you about about me going against the, the Kahuna Hala and Bread. my slowpoke being faster than a matchup? Machop. 
The champ yeah, chop. Good stuff. Good stuff. That seems about right now, doesn't it? Yep. The Pokemon with the word slow in its actual name. Oh, they had a speed up nature. Oh, look. It's a Pokemon. It's a lowland form Grimer. We've only encountered old redesigns, new redesigns for old Pokemon. What originality. Let's catch us. Just know, kidding. Grimer, this is... A Lolan Grimer and a Lolan Muck, they remind me of a pinata. Not really. They look anyway. like a pinata to me because of all their colors. Unfortunately for Grimer, we're not going to catch him. Meaning, he has to faint. Yes, they do not die. They do faint. Stop oh, increasing your defense. Guess what, Rai? Even my sketchbook has a pun on it. A cute angle. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is basically just two friends stacking, but this is hilarious. Think of it as a podcast and a let's play put into one. Don't you mean rolled in the one? Because I'm yes, pretty sure Grimer it. can roll, learn rollout or something. I'm not sure. Something can. Please don't give us all flashbacks to Whitney's mill tank. Shh, spoilers. For a game that happened in like 2000, you should all know this. Don't joke be spoil right it if it's 20 years later. <laughs> like a joke in the anime that's like 20 years old. You know, Jigglypuff. <laughs> And here we have it. The new Pokemon is... You stole my th thunder. This is Zora, our as new Pokemon. Someone who has a uh, Jolteon as their cover art, I can, I can fully accept that pun. I fully condone that joke. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Now, here we go. Click on the Pokeball, use the Pokeball, lower down to lowish HP, go Pokeball! How about we enjoy the beauty of nature that none of you can see, since nobody can see my screen, and... Yeah, you know what, forget it. Let's just go outside in my... And my bare feet. <laughs> Here we oh, have right Zorwa. <laughs> Beautiful Pokemon. The register covers its face. Only Rigel can. Two. Oh, look at that. One of my puppies is out here. One of my babies is out here. Hello there. All oh, right, Zorwa. The tricky fox Hello, Pokemon. There, the lion. Hello there. Hey, I'm trying to talk. Little baby lion. The little it normally, baby. it normally talkative child suddenly <laughs> stops talking. It friend, may have been replaced by a Zorba. It's a podcast. Memes. In you go, in you go, little buddy. In you go, little fluffy. Yes, I would like to nickname Zorwa. Wonder what I should name it, Ollie. Um, how about Foxy Grandpa? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> how about Kitsune? Oops. Foxy Grandpa. No, I'm gonna name it Kitsune. If you wanna know what that means, look it up or watch Chuck Conroy's Okami Let's Play. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, oh look. Chewie <laughs> just stuck his face upside down. Right, old look. I'm snuggled up against a little cloud. Aw, it's so cute, Dougie Dougie. <laughs> He's like a little donut. He's a donut. Get soon, A. Eh? Get soon, eh? I think I spelled that correctly. You spawn my sweet little donuts. Kitsune has been added to your party. All right. There's the Rotom. You want to be touched. You have some serious issues. You want to see my completely unnecessarily large collection of TV remotes? No. We're doing a let's play. 
that's an unnecessarily large collection of TV remotes. Exactly, that's why I called it that. <laughs> we have Zorua, which has a docile nature. And I have no idea what any of the natures do. All I know is that I can make jokes out of them in comics. I think this means that Zorua has... I think docile actually does nothing. Oh, okay. So, it knows the moves. Scratch, which is normal. Leer, which is normal. Pursuit, which is dark. Pursuit does it double does the damage. Absolutely nothing. No, Pursuit does double damage if you're switching out. And if you had the ability technician, unlike this Sarawa, <laughs> it will be double times the damage again. I mean 1.5, but that's besides the point. Has the build the illusion. Absolutely nothing. He had his mouth open for no reason. Cares to rig it? Likes to fight. We have Rowlet also, and we also can see the Pokedex number, I believe. Alright, let's heal up Zorua and get on with some battling. Look at this. Look at this. Man, I'm being distracted by dogs in real life versus dogs in the virtual world. Because of course I am. Woomy. <coughs> Alright, back to the game. And given more experience, let's use Zorua. Because this is the perfect okay. opportunity to Open do such a the thing. Game. Let's do this. Alright. Let's start battling some trainers. Ooh, item, item, item. I like how I just go and say item, item, item every time I see an item. Hey, look, it's a little kid. I'll show you my Grimer's best move with poison gas. It'll poison everyone that comes at us. Except for poison and steel types. Huh? Hmm. How ironic. A poison type move doesn't work on poison types. Yeah, and or steel. Unless you have corrosion, which. Isn't that great? Grimer, let's see it never use poison gas. Let, let's just see that. Alright, do you know something? Yes, Rallet came out. Do you want to know why? Because of its illusion. This is going to be so much fun. So, Lear lowers I defense. Put, I put in the ring of Chewy. Of course you did. So, we're going to use Lear right here because I want to lower his defenses. And it's going to use Pound. And that is going to knock out our illusion. Yeah, illusion affects the last Pokemon. Makes the last. Make Zoroa look like the last Pokemon in the party. I remember when I had a Zorark in Pokemon Y, and whenever I had matches with you, I would always do the same thing. I would put my Greninja at the last part of the team, so that it would look like. And Kitsu is not doing Zorark. too well, so I'm gonna switch on to Gasly. I do not, not remember so that, Ollie. Right. I do not remember that. Well, I do, because I always remember every single time I won. And now it uses poison gas? Are you friggin' kidding me? Besides, I'm horrible at winning, so it's not really that hard to remember. Yeah, especially that me, because I usually like just, you know, using electric types. Yeah. Spoiler, I'm gonna use an electric type in this let's play. When it's a water-type specialist against an electric-type favorer. Yeah, who also likes fire-types. That usually goes down quite poorly, doesn't it? Yeah, I usually have a fire-type and then there's a big old electric-type or grass-type that's just... One way you. or the other, it always ends up horribly. Get soon! This is what the SP share does. Every Pokemon in your party, even if it was switched out or not, will get the same amount of experience it would have if it beat the new beat the Pokemon that was out. Man, I'm distracted by real life dogs again. Also new thing, if you have a status condition, you can go into Pokemon Refresh, use this item right here, and you just kinda clean them up. So you don't have to use I'm items. Overpowered, surprisingly. Not really. This might take a while. This might take a while. There we go. A poke bean for you. And... RJ. 
Man, this episode is getting quite long. Well. The funny thing about Chewie is that he never licks. He only sniffs. Unless, of course, you're... Grass type Pokemon are immune to powder moves like poison powder and sleep powder. Get his it's so poison of poison. Yeah, that's some nice advice, dude. I just talked to you again. Of course I did. Of course I have to go back. The little Truby. The little Truby. Yeah, talk to one of my best friends. They're very nice friends. Just like you. Alright. Well, we took on one of the trainers. We caught a new Pokemon called Zorua. And I named it Kitsu because I could. Alright, this is next time on Pokemon. Next time on Pokemon Ultra Moon. We are going to be. Oh, just I'll quit the suspension. We are going to be defeating the rest of the trainers at the trainer school. And of course, we're gonna see truly what Kitsune can do. As the journey continues. Yep. See you guys next time. This is Rigel2 signing out. Just listen to that music. Later.